and welcome to C is for Chrome. I'm going to call this episode my two cents worth. My name is Ray and I am the Chrome in C is for Chrome. And on this my two cents worth, I thought I would quickly comment on a few things floating around. I'm trying to keep my channel non-political. I just really don't want to uh, go there. Um, it's not that I don't believe in um, supporting things, anything like that, but uh, I just, there's a lot of drama, trauma that can come from um, commenting on things. And uh, with the way my life is right now, with the husband and dialysis, the migraines, chronic pain, and everything it just seems like and 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 i i don't spend a lot of time following things uh jack septic i a couple of days ago did a thing um for black lives matter and so um here's what i have to say all lives matter not just black lives or white lives or purple lives or cats lives dog lives um, life in general just matters. We need to take care of each other. We need to take care of, um, the animals that we have in our lives, um, because their lives matter too. Um, so, out there. And I'm not going to spouse, you know, peace, love, you know, you know, <laughs> make love, not war. But, you know, there, there was a point to that, too. And uh, a lot of the crocheters in the community here on YouTube have been doing um, Hat Not Hate from Lion Brand. Um, Crystal from Bag o Day Crochet has a lot of really good patterns for that. Lion Brand is just... Um, looking for blue. If you do the hat not hate, look up on winebrand.com. Um, because bullying is just wrong. We all know that. Um, it, it's hurtful. And anyone who's been bullied um, will tell you that. It, it, it's just miserable. Um, and you know, <laughs> don't do it. Um, watch the teasing. Because there is a fine line between I'm just kidding with teasing and it becoming bullying. Um, if somebody says stop, then obviously the teasing isn't fun for them. It just it isn't. If somebody is, if you make somebody cry through teasing, then what you've done is a hateful act. Don't, and stop. Um, it's not funny. Um, and I will apologize. You know, I am guilty of it. I, you know, but I try and work on Thumper's mothers. Aha! For all you Bambi fans. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. And so, here on the Chrome, all we do is ask, play nice. You don't have to like everybody. You just don't be mean. Um, you know, and when it comes to um, good guys doing bad things, shame on you. Very much shame on you. Because we look up to you. And we rely on you. For the kind of support and leadership that you are supposed to bring to a community. That's safety. Like, how are we supposed to trust you? You know, 
Like, I, I, you know, I hope they throw the book at that cop or the cops or whatever was in there in this recent events. Um, I'm not following so, and I'm very, very tired and I've taken too many patients, so I cannot remember his name. But yes, Black Lives Matter. Um, child's, child's lives matter. Children matter. Women matter. Um... You know, um, and anywhere that we can stand up against or right or wrong or help out, we should do so. We should do that. So check out on that note, um, help fight domestic violence too. Because that's, that's, it seems to be an everybody thing. And it's not just women that are victims of it. Men are also victims. But a lot of times, it's the children. It's children that really, really suffer from victims of violence. It messes you up. And you grow up and you have a tendency to repeat what you want. So, let's support victims of violence. Um... And on Rose Likes Crochet, uh, if you check it out there, she's got her wings program for the Chicago area. Um, check that out. Uh, Rose Likes Crochet, wings. It's really hard not to miss those videos because they're purple. <laughs> she's got purple with wings on it. And it's to donations for uh, the one uh, organization in Chicago, Illinois. But if, um, if you can, um, anywhere close to, not just there. Hello, Bastion. <laughs> My little movie. video bomber. <laughs> and yes, spay and neuter your pets. <laughs> they don't need to reduce more little ones of themselves, as cute as it might be. <laughs> my bastion big ear. Um, my bumble butt. Yeah, that's my bugger. So yes, yeah, spay and your pets. Um, recycle. What else can I quickly say? Um, be kind to your parents. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, teach your treat. Uh, <sighs> um, respect your kids. Um, listen when it comes to mental health. Like, really listen. And don't blame yourself if you miss something. And somebody you care about has you know, commit suicide. Um, just trying to sit back and relax. And we're going to wrap this up because I am tired. And Bastion has come and <laughs> video bombed. <laughs> um, support your local causes. Um, my husband has kidney disease. He's actually in renal failure. He's doing dialysis. Um, and I would ask in this month of June, on my birthday month, and uh, I'm using my birthday gift right at the moment, so I, he got me a camera stand. Um, Donate to your local kidney society. Um, every little bit helps. And here's how it helped. Um, in the beginning, a year ago, um, we were having all sorts of financial issues. As my husband, um, I don't work. And as my husband was shifting from working to unemployment um, and then on assistance, and now on disability because you can't work 
and do dials just three times a week. Um, it's four hour runs. Oh yeah, yeah, he sits in a chair for four hours. Um, there's not enough clinics. We don't have one in our hometown. So he drives an hour, uh, well, sometimes to get somebody else to drive, depending on how he feels. Um, and uh, for an hour and a half, <laughs> what are you doing, Bastion? <laughs> Watch the camera, guys. Um, and one of the things when we were first doing dialysis, we uh, had to go to Edmonton. In Edmonton, in Alberta, Canada, very big center, but is like two and a half, three hours. We had to leave a, allow at least three hours, really, some days to drive from here. So those became 10 hour days or more, 10 to 11 hour days, because it was three hours there, four hours in in at dialysis and then for another three hours drive home and then if we wanted you know we usually would sit and eat first we you know no money so you bring lunch um and it's expensive and one of the things that the kidney society of canada alberta canada um, did was they helped us out with gas money for when we didn't have money and the first time that we got assistance with it was he ended up um, having to go to the hospital get really really sick I think uh, it had to do with diabetes and so they shipped him from our hospital to the Edmonton Hospital uh, a couple days later, I was able to get a ride to go and be with him in the hospital, and um, they let me stay with him. That was in his room, and that was so wonderful. But what ended, ended up happening was when he got better, a few days later, they discharged him from the hospital. Well, he went by ambulance. I don't drive. So I didn't, I didn't have a vehicle. We didn't really have any money. We didn't realize that if they discharge you, the ambulance won't take you back to where you came from. Um, and the social worker at the hospital in Edmonton was really, really good. She worked really good. She contacted the Kidney Society and they gave us gas cards. And those gas cards allowed us, as we found a friend to come and get us, allowed us to come home. We weren't stranded in Edmonton. So if you don't think a dollar, five dollars, two dollars, two fifty, fifty cents doesn't make a difference, it does. It did. And all last year, when we were short of money and you know wondering how we were going to afford gas to get him to his dialysis you know whether it was in edmonton or vagerville or lloyd's minster alberta um it made a big difference having those available funds so and Another time they helped pay for uh, some housing for him, anyways, um, in a dorm room off of the hospital. There's so many hospitals in Edmonton. I think it was the University of Alberta Hospital has this dorm room. We had to stay um, um, the one type the one type of dialysis wasn't working and we had no money for a hotel or anything like that and um the 
he had to have the procedure for to put in the central line for the dials as everybody knows with the machine and the kidney society paid for that so one dollar two fifty five dollars fifty dollars five hundred dollars it doesn't matter um support the kidney society as they do a lot of good work for people like us like me and my husband who are just normal everyday people and also um be a donor don't be afraid to be a donor those kinds of things sometimes the simplest little things um help anyway so i uh, yes and so on the happy little note thank you the kidney society of canada and alberta end of things um for so graciously helping us out last year um it was greatly appreciated and thus ends my episode of <laughs> yada 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 on um what's going on in the world treat each other with kindness um donate where you feel is important to donate and uh <laughs> and all lives matter <laughs> good night everybody <laughs> And may your rest of June be sunny and bright with rain when it's appropriate so we can have rainbows. Good night, everybody.